everyone and welcome back if you're new here to my channel welcome my name is paula and i post cleaning videos and today i have for you a full day of my downstairs cleaning it was super bowl sunday so i was super motivated to get things done as quick and early as i can that way i can enjoy the game that night so let's go ahead and get started I wanted to get started with my refrigerator today. I've been putting this off for weeks. I kept saying, you know, I'll get to it once the fridge, you know, was needed to be stocked and it was more empty. Um, but that just, it never happens when you have a whole family you have to feed. So I decided, you know what, I'm finally going to get it done. So what I'd like to do is just remove things shelf by shelf. I've never been the type to take everything out. It just seems more overwhelming that way. So I just go through it shelf by shelf and sometimes I reorganize things. Sometimes I'm okay with the way that I have it set up and it just needs a cleanup. Um, but today I did find myself rearranging a few things. So the way that I have my refrigerator set up is on the first shelf, I have some of our dairy products. So for example, um, we have the kids yogurt on there. That's something that I like to have in plain sight because they do like to have yogurt. So if my husband's watching them, he knows just where to find it. Um, I also have my oat milk here and my creamer because for when I need to make my coffee. Um, so that just works to have those things in plain sight. And then I always leave some space. That way, if I have any fruits um, in there for the kids, then same thing, it's in plain sight and my husband can see it. Then on the second shelf is where we keep all of our meal prep. So if once again, my husband needs something to eat, he knows he can look in that shelf and that's where he's going to find something that's already pre-cooked. Then a third shelf is more or less like my butter, my cream cheese, or any stick butter for like baking. Um, so those things that are not used as often, also like sour cream, those are on the third shelf. And then after that is where I have my cold cuts, my cheeses, um, under that any bread, so bagels, sliced bread, hot dog buns, um, tortilla wraps, all of that would be on that shelf. Then I have my produce. And then under that is where I have um, the kids regular milk and their oat milk. And it's just a system that's worked out for us. I really enjoy it. And it just looks more aesthetically pleasing for me. But I would love to hear in the comments down below if any of you guys get into those TikTok videos of um, kitchen restocks. I am obsessed with it. I just don't see myself organizing my refrigerator that way, but I do enjoy watching it. So I would love to know in the comments down below if you guys also watch those. I also forgot to mention with my produce, I do also keep like certain jars 
um, as far as like any bases that I cook with. So for example, I have pesto in here. Um, I have a few Hispanic um, bases that I also cook with. And this ricotta cheese that I am about to show you, I am completely obsessed with. I can only find it at Publix. Um, but it's just like a great like Friday night meal for me that's quick and easy to make. I just put it on some naan bread. I put on the ricotta pesto, some mozzarella cheese, throw it in the oven, and it's literally the most delicious pizza I've ever made in my life. I'm obsessed with it. Um, so if you find that in Publix, it's definitely worth picking up. Now for the refrigerator door, I just have to give it a quick wipe down. We're pretty good to stay organized with it. We use everything. So I was just looking at expiration dates and wiping everything down. Now my refrigerator, my freezer was actually a different story. That one had really become a mess over the last few weeks. And we had just kind of just been throwing things in there. I was making freezer meals for the kids because that's just easy sometimes on weeknights if they won't eat what I've made for dinner. I'll just heat something up that I've already made for them in the freezer. Um, my husband loves freezer food, so most of the time he just has those in boxes. So I really needed to get in here and just organize, um, but I really do like the way that it came out. Let's just see how long it lasts. Now for the part that I was more excited for or the most excited for today was organizing my pots and pans. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, but I just kept putting it off because before the kids, you know, I just used to meal prep for my husband and I, and it's not like I was in the kitchen as often. Um, but now that I'm, you know, at home all the time and the kids are eating, you know, regular meals and for my husband. So it's just, I'm in the kitchen more and I'm cooking more. So I really wanted just to take the time to start organizing my kitchen little by little. And this was the first step for me was my pots and pans because this is something that drives me nuts when I'm quickly trying to make a meal and I can't find a lid to something or I can't find, you know, the pot that I'm looking for. And I just, it, it would drive me nuts. So finally I was able to get this done and I was in love with it. <music> Now jumping into tackling the kitchen mess. So my husband was out at his parents' house with the kids 
And the last thing that I really had to do was go ahead and clean up the kitchen and I wanted to get to the floors. So those were my two main things that I still had left on my list other than the organizing of the refrigerator and the pots and pans. So I was gonna get to it. I knew that I had at least an hour, hour and a half to get this all done and then I was gonna be able to enjoy the Super Bowl. Let me know down in the comments below if any of you guys watch the Super Bowl. Do you enjoy watching football? Honestly, I'm someone who is not as into football. I'm more or less into the actual event itself. Don't hate me, but I'm more into it just for the food and the drinks and, you know, the parties and the good time. Um, but, you know, any reason to celebrate, why not? But let me know down in the comments below if you guys are into football and what team you were rooting for. For my sink i love to use the mrs myers baking soda cream cleanser i just love the smell i love the job that it does it gives the sinks always a nice shine i also use it on my stove top from time to time um, but this was also another area of my kitchen that i wanted to organize was under my kitchen sink um, and now that i'm doing this vo voiceover i've actually already organized most of my kitchen so you guys will see the results of that in an upcoming video but I went ahead and I organized my kitchen utensils. I organized actually all my kitchen cabinets. I did some rearranging in some of them, um, but really excited for my um, spices. I also switched up. I got a, a rotating spice rack. Um, and then like I mentioned, under the kitchen sink. So that'll be coming up in a video soon. So hopefully you guys will tune in for that. Um, but just lots of, you know, just kind of reorganizing, decluttering in the kitchen. Like I mentioned, I'm spending more time in the kitchen nowadays. So it just makes it, you know, less of a stressful thing for me when I can easily find things and everything has its own place.
now that my kitchen is clean and I'm just about done wiping everything down, I was just gonna get to the dining room table and then I also wanted to vacuum the rug downstairs. Now, I also had cleaning to do upstairs, but I've been trying to get better about being realistic with myself and what I can get done in a day and trying not to push myself to the point where I'm just overly exhausted and I'm I've been getting better with it and this was one day where you know I was happy with myself with what I was able to accomplish and you know the rest of the house would get done whenever I could get it done um, so at least my downstairs and that's why the downstairs was actually my priority because I knew we were going to be watching the game down here um, I was making food for the Super Bowl and it's just I knew that I was going to spend my time down here so this is the area that I wanted clean. I really wasn't going to worry about going upstairs and doing anything. I was going to get to the floors up there but that was just about it and I was totally fine with that and that's just to let you guys know it's okay if you can't get to everything. We're all you know just human and we're not perfect so at least something being done is better than nothing. This specific scent has been my favorite right now for uh, my carpets. It just, it lasts longer, I feel like, than the other scents. Um, so I went ahead and stocked up on them and have a bunch in my cleaning closet right now. And that's just how I am. When I'm obsessed with something, I go overboard. But hey, that's just how I am. So I was just gonna get to the floors with my Tinco i Floor 2. And this actually vacuums and mops your floors all at the same time. It is such a time saver. I got it for Christmas and it has been one of my best purchases because it literally cuts my time in, in half. I mean, I used to have to go around the whole house and vacuum and then truck around this mop with me. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I still use my old cedar when I wanna get to you know the floors and the baseboards all at the same time. But if I'm just trying to do a quick clean like today where I'm trying to just have the floors clean so I could enjoy myself for the rest of the day, it gets the job done and it just does a phenomenal job. So definitely worth purchasing. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. the clock and rewind go back to that moment in time when you say you want me for life was it all a lie i gave my all to deserve ya begging on my knees just to show ya you're the one i want and i love ya no 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 lie i miss your touch from your hands and your body it hurts so much to think of you as someone else Sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'ma do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me.
last thing on my list was just cleaning this toilet. After that, I just had to give the Tinco a quick clean. Now it does have a self-clean mode, um, but I also, you know, I like to go the extra mile and just take the pieces off and clean it with the Dawn Power Wash as well, just because, you know, it's a, it's a wet vacuum, so I don't want it to, you know, start having any odors or anything like that. Um, and it takes me literally less than five minutes to clean it. So literally just gonna do the toilets, the Tenko, and then I was completely done. I got things accomplished. I was happy with what was done in my house. And that is it for today's video. I do wanna thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. to do